Uh, I'll answer that both from a business standpoint, but also a commercial real estate standpoint. And Derek, he, he said it very well, uh, staying uh, centered on your core business and staying the course. And um, I, I played a lot of baseball. Um, and I think it'd be a great idea to play out here next year. We can have a little expo uh, out there. I've played at the other ball field, but one of my coaches one day said, Davis, you're not a home run guy, you're a singles guy. And um, you know, you, you look at that and you can apply that to business. Hitting singles is not a bad deal. Hitting singles weather some pretty big storms. And um, I'm that singles guy, um, and I'm proud to be that guy. And in working with people, I think I convey that to them. Uh, I don't think I'm a big personality that's gonna convince you that I'm gonna hit a home run and win the game with one bat. I'm gonna plug away and um, you know drive the core part of our businesses uh, and the clients that see that will come along and uh, they're very vested in that. Um, so I, I, I think Derek said it very well and that's a huge aspect when you have very fluctuating times. Um, from a real estate standpoint, real quickly, I can think of 12 buildings that have lost anywhere from 20 to 80,000 square feet. Um, I won't name a bunch of names, I will say Electrolux because everybody knows it. They uh, left an 80,000 square foot facility. They didn't just leave the office. They also moved elsewhere, the retail, the surrounding sporting cast around that physical location suffering. And so uh, that has a very pen penetrable effect uh, in all of your businesses, owning a restaurant or other retail in the nearby uh, neighborhood. So we've got to figure out how to uh, reinvent the wheel on the big box office like we did 10 years ago with the big box retail. And uh, I'm confident we can do that, but it's uh, a huge challenge in our industry right now.